Bring us up to date on what the latest is with GAM. We've learned that over the last six weeks, there were some allegations that were tied into some private securities that were uh, that he was dealing with. What more are we learning about Haywood's suspension? Well, that's right. We're now six weeks uh, into this suspension since GAM first released some details uh, about one of its leading fund managers uh, and his conduct, which they've said uh, is questionable, and they're currently investigating that. Uh, what we've revealed over the weekend is that some of the investments uh, that they say insufficient due diligence was made on uh, are asset-backed deals tied to an Indian-British businessman called Sanjeev Gupta. Now, this matters for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're big. And second of all, GAM has the job of liquidating them in the next few weeks and months. Uh, and the problem with hard-to-sell investments is that even if the underlying uh, business is fine, if you're in a rush to sell them, you may not be able to sell them uh, for what they're truly worth. Uh, and that puts GAM in a tight spot. Are outflows going to continue at pace, Tom? Uh, forgive me, uh, is what's going to continue at pace? Outflows. Are people going to be redeeming their money, selling their shares and trying to get out as fast as possible? Or is the worst behind GAM in that regard? I see. Well, that's exactly what, what analysts and investors are worried about. Uh, GAM's shares, GAM is a listed fund manager. Its shares have fallen about 34% since the suspension. And that isn't wholly explained by just these particular funds. That's painful for GAM, of course, uh, but it doesn't justify a 34% decline in the shares. What the concern is, is that outflows will spread to the funds that were not managed by Haywood. Um, there is some uh, evidence of that at the moment. There have been outflows from other funds. Uh, we don't yet have a sense that it's, um, uh, it's accelerating, but it's certainly something that we analysts and the rest of the market are keeping an eye on. Tom, a lot of the investigation up to this point has been internal from GAM. Any concerns that this escalates further to a regulatory level? Uh, that, that, that it will be something that regulators will expect to be uh, informed about, particularly um, if it is material to any of the investors. It's worth saying at this point that, according to GAM, uh, there's no reason to think that any of the investors in these funds have been adversely affected. Uh, but of course, as a listed asset manager, uh, if one of your top fund managers has been suspended in a very public way, uh, regulators will expect to be kept informed of that. What's happening at the moment is an internal disciplinary process uh, at GAM that it says it wants to conclude swiftly, uh, but we don't have a specific timeline on that yet.